seven. Be in seven o'clock. We will start on time the Board of Selectmen meeting for the eyes of March or Thursday, March 15th, 2018. It's really the eyes of March, is it? Eyes, yeah, the eyes of March. And uh, uh, all three selectmen are present. The admin, uh, the town administrator is present. And we do not have a town uh, secretary. Do the minutes the court secretary. And so, Lean, you will be in charge with taking minutes for tonight. Uh, Leo, we are live. Yep. Leo Martell is taking. Uh, set up the video. He's taking video of the, of the meeting. Okay, old business <coughs> first. We have minutes, gentlemen. <coughs> I'll make a motion to uh, accept the March 8th, 2018 minutes as amended. Second. Any discussion, gentlemen? There is no discussion. All in favor? Uh, you want to make the next one, Bob? Yeah, I'll make a motion to accept the to approve the non-public minutes from March 8, 2018. I'll second the motion. Any discussion? And then I don't. Did we amend those? I, I think. think was. I didn't see any. Yes, they, they were. They were. They were. Okay, so I'm going to say as amended. Okay, so now you can. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. I have the right one this side. Yes. Okay. Want to make sure it goes into the black hole. I think we're going to get home in time to watch the game. Well, it's, I, want to keep, I want to keep it strict business tonight because uh, we had a long week and the week's not over yet. So we want to just move the agenda. Um, I'm going to open up for public comment. If you have a public comment, please state your name for the record. I'll start with Leo. Do you have anything? No, thank you. Chief, are, uh, are you going to be talking to us later during the town business section? Yes. The only thing I, I tell you is uh, that expensive repair I was going to have done on the Taurus is done. You're going to get a, uh, a bill for like $1,600 on it. So. Okay. Just and as long as you, how many more years are guaranteeing out of that? <laughs> I'd like to take it full till the end of my career in 2022. Okay. There you <laughs> go. We'll see how we make out. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Um, Gentlemen, you're on the agenda, so I'll bypass you for now, unless you have something else for public comment. <coughs> okay. Um, I'm closing public comment, and I'm going to open up to the agenda. Jeff, you're up as first on our agenda. We are. Oh, thank you. Um, I was hoping Jeff Crosby would be here on time. He said he uh, would be. <clears throat> okay. So we'll blabber on, waiting for Jeff to come in. The proper <clears throat> word, as I've been told by the board, it's ramble. Ramble, okay, so we'll, we'll ramble. We had our first um, team, construction team meeting for the school uh, addition and renovation project this afternoon. Okay. Um, and Jeff was there, uh, Chief was there, and John Wigan, and, and uh, 10 other folks. Um, and one of the topics of discussion is our construction manager, Bowen Corporation, would like to start construction on March 26th, Monday. Um, the road, however, is posted. 12-ton uh, limit right now from Route 13 um, on up Robert Rogers Road. Um, the uh, construction manager, we're here asking for a waiver for that posting starting on the 26th of March. Um, I did a little research into the state law, RSA 231 colon 191, which I'm sure Jeff is very familiar with. Um, you know, the highway agent is you know, assigned the task of posting roadways and so forth to prevent unreasonable damage. Extraordinary municipal maintenance expense, etc. Um, it's unlawful to drive on it unless you get written permission provided in an expeditious manner from the selectman or highway agent in a town. So <coughs> folks have the authority to, to provide written permission. Um, officials <coughs> authorized to grant written permission may impose reasonable conditions and may establish reasonable regulations for bonding and restoring the highway if you choose. Um, and uh, let's see, nobody's exempt from this. It says, provided, however, that any owner of land or a commercial enterprise served by such highway who demonstrates that such limits would entail practical difficulty or unnecessary hardship and who complies with all conditions and regulations concerning bonding and restoration shall be granted an exception unless the ex exemption uh, would be detrimental to public safety. So there's, there's a process in the law for what we're asking for tonight. Um, 
and I really want Jeff to comment on it because uh, we first obviously went to Jeff and said, would you? And Jeff said, I can't. <clears throat> you know, otherwise, he's got to let everybody, you know, uh, he's got to wait for anybody else who asks for it, and, and he's certainly reluctant to do so for good reason. Uh, but I want him to be able to address the, you know, what's the risk to the community? Would you want to defer it? Any I can continue with the meeting deferred for the... Yeah, why don't we do that? Let's wait for Jeff to come in, and then we'll have that conversation. Jeff, oh, he's the expert. Do you have the distance to that <clears throat> to the school? I could go walk it and tell you it's how many paces. It's not much. <laughs> maybe 500 feet. Okay. And so everything would come in off of Route 13. Um, on the 26th, they would bring in an excavator uh, and a dump truck, start excavating. Um, that week, they would probably... They may need to bring in some stone if they find that the footing... So great. Great. Yeah. Okay. great. Well, we, we can continue. Yeah, so we'll, if you guys have other things, we can wait for him to come in or... Uh, so, um, so it's more than just bringing the equipment to the site one yeah. route. There'll be loaded dump trucks and certainly concrete maybe by the end of that week as they start pouring things. <coughs> the idea is to get foundations in quickly, get them backfilled quickly to make the site more secure. Because sometimes <coughs> I've seen kind of exceptions for like bringing a piece one way Right. And then working on a site, yep. but not to continue to travel after Correct. that. Correct. Correct. And, and from what our construction manager is telling us, um, they, we have a really tight schedule, as you know. Um, he has very little float time in his schedule between when he needs to start and when he has to turn over the building on August 24th, because we start school that, that's a Friday, we start school on, on Monday. So. And we'll just come in. How are you, how are you going to flag, are you starting out in the back, obviously? Correct. And how are you going to flag that off in reference to the, the uh, playground? <coughs> yep. So we uh, started about the day. I told him that you're all in favor of this. And yep. no <laughs> here. Yep. So this is the plan that was, and I only have one copy. We start oh, sometime in April. That was brought to us today. <laughs> can I take a copy of that? So you certainly can. That way you can give yep. it. I didn't, I didn't have the ability to make color copies. So, <laughs> so they're fencing off an area. Yep, um, around the, where the construction will be. This will become contractor parking, trailers, tool storage. So this will be contractor area, and then we'll move all school operations, parking, et cetera, will all be over to this side. So there's a clear and did, demarcation. Did um, the fire chief or anybody have any concerns in reference to the safety of the building not being able to go all the way around? Yep, it? we talked about that at the meeting. Um, keys will be given to our chiefs for the locks that will be on the, the gate, so if they do need to get in there, they'll be able to get in. Okay. Um, but we, we talked about safety and safety of kids as well, means of egress. Are they still going to go outside and try and play in the area? I think the playground will still be open. Two feet yep. of snow, right? The ball field will be available for rec use, you know, off hours, you know, for uh, softball practice and games and so forth. Um, they're not fencing off that entire parking lot, so there'll still be parking there for people who want to use the ball field in the spring. So the, the, what I mentioned was our contractor wants to start on March 26th, um, but the road is posted. Um, the contractor wants to begin on the 26th to bring in his excavator, bring in a dump truck, uh, but during that week he may need to bring in loads of stone if he finds that the footing subgrade as he excavates is too wet to, to build footings, build formwork on, he may want to put in a layer of stone. So that would be trucking some stone, and then certainly concrete for footings before the end of that week. And then moving right into concrete for walls, and then bringing gravels in for backfill and subgrade. Sand. So Jeff, there. one question. When do you normally, uh, on average, lift the lift the district? Right around the first part of April. April first. I mean, typically, I mean, it could go either way. Um, as I talked, told Jeff, and the frost had pretty well come out of the ground up until the other day. Now we're getting a little bit of cold. Well, yeah, we're kind of getting the more what we should have had three weeks ago. Right. Instead of <laughs> 70 degree weather, you know, but that's what it is. And the ground had dried up a lot because the snow was gone. I mean, there is some snow now, but it's not a, a horrible thing. It's just us typically when we try to do it. You know, as I told Jeff, I mean, we, anybody else that wants to do anything, we hold a pretty tight line on it. I told him last year we got, had a, quite a go around with a logging. Um, it was a different situation, yes. Um, we still see them standing by that for all that. I think he had even talked about bonding the road, but we didn't even agree to that. Yeah, I mean, the whole difficult thing to do. To process, yeah, within the town. Yeah. Um, of course, this, is, <clears throat> this has a limited amount of distance 
to the highway. Yeah, that was the other thing that Jeff had, had talked know. about that. I mean, the, the shorter distance, um, you know, it, it just a, lot of it's, a lot of it's precedent, I think, yeah. honestly. Right. Mm -hmm. You know. But this is an uh, uh, incident where it involves the town itself. You know, yeah. trying, to, trying to meet a schedule. You're only a few days away, but for another question, then you, and you may or may not know the answer, if they had to get a bond, is that a minimal cost? Do you know? The thing I is, I, I imagine there is, yes. There's certainly well, it's yeah, I'm just, I'm, just cost, right? I'm wondering, only because it's not a lot of distance, would it be right. a minimal amount? or? Yeah, is there, is there a minimum X number of dollars, regardless of what know, the risk is? Yeah. And then, yeah, I'm not sure. You know, I, I, just well, trying to figure out which way. Yeah. Put another compromise is through uh, there's not much difference. We're right in the time frame where you'd probably be lifting it. Bring just the machinery to start the and defer any concrete and defer any stone and all that kind of stuff. But you can start with the minimal stuff, setting up fencing, getting stuff, some excavating done with the one time equipment coming in and holding off anything heavy. Right, well, how does that sound? What size like, equipment? Well, what size yeah. equipment? Yeah. But I can <laughs> see something in that doesn't work because once you dig a hole, it fills yeah. with water. Ah. Yeah. So and the other thing really is work. for him to get this mm -hmm. site ready. He's going to move fast. It won't take him long. Right, I so mean, I'm, I'm assuming if he actually, okay. broke, if he, I don't know when you say the 26th, are they going to show up? That's somebody's going to start putting fence up. I mean, somebody's going to have to push the snow off. I think they're putting fence up next week. Yeah, so, so see, they they'd be, be basically they'd be ready to go. Okay. Right. So I'm estimating if he showed up Monday morning, he probably would want to be thinking of concrete Tuesday or Wednesday Thanks. morning at the yeah. latest. You know, footings, okay. right? Yep. So yeah, they they they, they, would, they wouldn't want to dig it and leave it. Safe. Okay. Just 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 yeah. thinking out of the box. Yeah. No. I, it's not, not, not a they, they don't have a lot of preparation work. I guess it's not like they have to move a lot of stuff, topsoil and all this stuff mm -hmm. to get the site ready for excavation. But Jeff, um, thinking out loud, like Bob yeah. said, this is for the town. Yeah. And um, the distance being so short, if it was for the town and it was going across the entire road, I'd have I'd have a little bit more problem with it. But being for the town. And then uh, maybe we could even look at limiting some of the trucking hours to when it's colder in the day. And that that, that a little bit. That's a possibility, but typically it doesn't work. But bringing <laughs> the, usually for the country, bringing the stone in, and then they pour the end of the day. Yeah, yeah but exactly. I'd like this, the this stone and all like sand on and off yeah. and that type of stuff could well, be. Well, the could be. project manager yeah. indicated, in it, and I don't blame him. It's it's the way to do it. They move in the dirt, they would want to haul it out, but then he made reference that they could stockpile it. Right. I don't know how much persuasion he has with that. So the, the soil that's out there is a hard pan. It's a really dense material. It's really not good for backfill or for use underneath the slab. So everything that they dig for excavating to put the foundation in, they're planning on hauling away and bringing back in some gravel, free draining material. So they could stockpile that and not haul that away that week. But they still may have to bring in some stone and would certainly want to bring in concrete. See, that's that's the type of thinking I think yeah. would make best sense to limit some of the trucking on the road. But it's going to be substantial. I mean, it's, you know, it's not like a project where they had the concrete done and they want to load a lumber so they can get to the next. I mean, it's it's kind of, it is pretty hard to limit that to just the morning. Yeah, bringing a piece of equipment in, yeah, they could bring that in in the morning. But the rest of it, once they get they got guys. That, I don't ready, know what what type of contractor this is, but it's got but if they're ready to pour in the afternoon, they could actually do that first thing in the morning. They you could. Know? I mean, they, they could. could. This is a compromise. Yeah. yeah, they've got to watch weather too. So. The other the other issue was we talked about a bond, and there's probably ninety nine percent chance that they will not do any damage to that road that we will see. What the damage is is structurally underneath that compromises it. The more and more heavy trucks drive over it. I mean, you know, there's cracks in the asphalt, there's potholes in it. You know, it's hard to say, oh, did your truck do that or did the town <clears> truck do it when they plowed that last storm or, or the oil truck when they delivered it. So that's kind of a hard thing to, you know, a bond. I mean, it, it keeps everybody honest, I think. It is, it's a good idea, but to implement that for the additional cost and what we really get out of it. And, and I look at the, at the bond as being a guarantee that the person who damages the road will fix the road. Well, it's really... Uh, the town taxpayer, so yeah, we're going to be bonding our own bond. road, really. Exactly. Because exactly. yeah. we're going to pay for it on one end or the other. Right. They're going to send the bill right back to us. Even the concept would be set a bad precedent because a, a, a lumber company could come in and say, like they did last year to us, we're going to bond the road. And yeah. then we end up arguing, well, as it was, previous damage or was it damage, but that did cost. Mm -hmm. 
Well, we had an issue already this year. With, we had most of the roads at that point, but it was on the borderline with a, a dirt road with some concrete trucks. To the letter of the law, there was no sign up yet, but they didn't use good judgment. Uh -huh. and that mm -hmm. doesn't mean every concrete company is going to have bad judgment, yeah. but yeah. judgment's a big issue with some of these people. Yeah. And I mean, this. Well, and that's why I was speaking you know, to the time of the day keeping some of those materials on site till the road band is pulled off yeah. to limit that going by because I'm sure as soon as we do allow that, you know, we're going to hear some barking from some neighbors or whatnot. Yeah. So sure. to, to limit that as best we can and then have them, even if they worked with Jeff Daly on, you know, going in and out of that on a timely basis in the morning or whatever before noon. What What is your bottom line opinion? What's my bottom line opinion? I really have a hard time wrapping my head around the, the fundamental issue is it's all right for the town to do it, but the guy that wants to do something else can't do it because I've been telling him, no, you can't do it. You can't pour your concrete until you lift the robot. This is unusual because this is the only thing we got going close. The rest of the stuff is down roads, and like Dave said, a, a great distance. Um, and and, and my, I guess I would say it's the town taking the risk of damaging town property. It's not like a private individual doing that. And we have the unique situation of a, of a huge construction project and we have to hit a deadline. We, we can't postpone starting school a week you know, if they're not ready. So yeah, a week or two means a lot on this project. And we don't know what weather's going to do to this. This is the first phase of it. Yeah, right. I mean, they can't do If you don't get started on this, you may... Well, they can't do their inside work, obviously, because yeah. school's in. So this gives them a jump on getting so. I, I just, you know, I'm kind of torn, really, to be honest with you. I, I just, I, it's, you know, that's why they get paid the big bucks. Well, <laughs> I'm not trying to throw it all in their lap. I told you what my answer would be if it was just, I told you that right off out of the gate, it would be, no. And, but we'll come talk to the selectmen, and maybe we can work out a compromise or something. But I do agree with Jeff, it is, our, it is our own roads, so if they are damaged, I mean, we, we damage we our own roads, which are the roads that we fix within the town. So. In the parking area down there, we're going to redo that anyway. They're not going to hurt that. I mean, they may break through it totally. It's in pretty sad shape, but so be it. Yeah, that's, that's the second half of our conversation. Yeah, that's, 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 that's part pretty horrible. That was pretty potholy anyway. Oh, we've, right? we've so torn it up even worse this winter with the conditions we've had. It's, okay. it's, I, I guess it, it's a matter of scheduling things for, mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, I've done jobs too where they come in in the morning to do the concrete because yeah. as it got later in the day, yeah. either it was either that or they used to huff to push the concrete truck back to where it had to pour and pull it out because yeah. things get soft, they change real quick. So if they could schedule when they're using the heavy stuff, I don't think I'd have a problem with it. In other words, if they poured concrete yeah. first thing in the morning, if they come in first thing in the morning with the equipment, because yeah. I don't know what piece of what size piece of equipment they're going to use, no idea. but it could be substantial, yeah. you know, it yeah. could have an impact. It would be yeah. over the 12 ton limit for sure yeah. with the equipment, whatever yeah. carrier they used to. Yeah, really just the equipment's going to be 40 or 50,000 yeah. pounds right so, there. So it's yeah. possible, I don't know. So, don't you know, if, they, if, if we could be kind of assured that they would use that type of schedule, you know, there's because I don't know. I mean, I, mean, I yeah. don't like to pull the rug out from under a department head. No, and but I, and I to get to caught up with, uh, to get going in the direction and <clears throat> moving. I mean, I mean that's we, how I would have to look at it. And uh, we do give people permission to do it. It's not yeah. like we to hold a tight line and say nobody can do anything. Because I mean, you've allowed a single lumber load yes, to go in or that early ongoing, in the morning. Ongoing. My company's mm -hmm. got permission to bring, go into many towns early in the morning before 11 o'clock, bring your big load in. Okay. You know, and then we use smaller trucks to finish the job off. Yeah. So we find most towns work with us as long as we do it by 11 or noon. Yeah. In fact, in the, the logging company, Jeff, last year, when we asked the question about doing, you know, I think Dave, you posed the question, if they do it early in the morning. Yeah. And it was going to be all day but long. he had too many loads. So he right, it was going to be all day yeah. long. So yeah. he that couldn't. Gonna, he, he said one or two that. loads wasn't going to help him. His business had to run all day. We put, we basically, well, me, not these guys, but backing my decision up, 12 people had to get laid off, supposedly, huh? because they couldn't come in more. Yeah. That was the story we got. Oh, okay. Well, it was a big <laughs> outfit. It was a big outfit when, when he was I mean, up I hate to see this happen. And running. Yeah. They weren't. They you know, would have to get laid off because they couldn't get this whole. Yeah. No, that, that's not going to happen. It, it's really, 
Yeah, it's going to mess up your schedule. We're rolling, basically. we're rolling the dice. If we get bad weather this, this summer and this spring, we're, we're screwed. Well, so I think we're, we're almost to a consensus here. Um, storing material on site when they can. Yep. Um, uh, limiting uh, heavy lows to morning. Okay. Close coordination with the road agents. Just have to give them the time when it ends, cut off times. No. When he, I mean, if it's like 50 degrees at 10 o'clock, that may not be a good day. And if, and if the road agent feels that we get a warm week next week and things have really dried out and yep. wants he can, to. He can lift it at his, that's, that's his okay. prerogative. The, the forecast I saw doesn't allude to that? <laughs> does it? <laughs> does it? <laughs> it actually, it sounds like we're going to go backwards this weekend. <laughs> I, I was just going to say, I think frost I guarantee weather, us yeah. there's going to be no storm that week. You're going to need frost blankets. Yeah. 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 I mean, the, the other thing. It's, it's significant, but it's not a huge concrete pour either. No, it's not. You know, no, I mean, there's... Uh, 60s, 130, and another 30. 150 feet of lineal feet of wall, four feet deep and a foot, of, or five feet and a foot. But yeah. you have, as a department head, by yeah. you holding a hard line, yeah. too, you can say, well, that was an exempt from the select and, office, you yeah. know, at I mean, the time it, they, they can really limit the amount of material that comes on and off the site. Okay. And they can, instead of putting 10 or 11 yards on the concrete trucks, lighten them up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I realize they have to make more trips. More trips, yeah. yeah. And that's okay. that's a catch-22, because it's like you got more trips. <laughs> you pay more for the concrete. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But, uh, okay. I, think, I think they'll get the same price. I don't think yeah. they're going to get any better deal or they have full over or, or, yeah. or eight yards. Of, but even but then I said they bring more trucks. Instead of five trucks, they do well, six. Yeah. So it's more trips. So we could have that argument all day. Yeah. But if they're just conscious of that stuff, that's all. Okay. Just to be very conscious. And I'll keep my eye on it. But So I, I think we need an action from so, the board. Yeah, so I'll make a motion that we allow the uh, <clears throat> school board to start their construction project um, using the road agent as a determining factor of balance to watch over the the traffic going on the road. Um, Fair enough. And you're saying that right now, technically, after or on or after the 26th is when right. they want to start bringing some sort of equipment. Right. And, and that way, by giving it back to the road agent, he can control and watch that and not set any specific <coughs> times. They can work with you because some of them days next week will be cold enough. They or on oh, the 26th, yeah. they could work the entire day. They're going to be in the you know mm -hmm. 20s. Yeah. yeah. So okay. Yeah, it sounds up. So I would second your motion. Just okay. we're, we're great with that. Thank any, you. Any further discussion? Mm -hmm. uh, as long as as long as they try to meet those conditions, understood. You know, uh, yeah. uh, but not try. Meet it. Meet it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> meet it. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. All in favor? Aye. Uh, right. So, sir, you have the responsibility. Yeah, we'll work it out. Okay, and uh, Hopefully just make sure that your project manager has they've a cell phone. Had, they've had a conversation today, and yeah. we'll be having more. Okay. So that's he's right. not available by email. He's mostly available by cell phone. I figured that out myself. He's, he's emailed me. <laughs> I warned him. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like checked. I saw that plan today. Yeah. It's like trying to reach me on a cell phone. My cell phone lives in the car. Turn it on. Um, so the second half of our conversation, we came to you back, I forget how many months ago, to talk about parking that lot. parking lot. And um, as Jeff will tell you, it's, it's really gone to pieces this winter. It uh, really needs to be rebuilt. Um, what we had in our project, um, in the, in the, uh, road what, the, yeah, what the contractor owns is rebuilding the fire road from here over to here, including adding pavement to gain three spaces and three spaces. So we own that pavement. Um, Jeff, though, has got, you know, the guys who be paving for the town and get good prices for paving. Um, wants to, I think, pull out the uh, two feet of material in there. Or a portion. We're kind of decided. We had to do a little test yeah. and put it by under the existing parking. Put some good gravel in there. Put some kind of gravel before paving. Will you be able to handle that under your current budget? He's got to strap it. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Um, I, as we had talked about, we were trying to figure how do you divide some of this stuff up. And I had indicated to Jeff that I thought he ought to bid whatever his section, or not his, I'm calling it, the yeah, school section. The school part, yep. <laughs> have those guys bid for whatever number they have. And perhaps we could back the paving part of it out. Right. Because because we could pave it all at the same time, and you're going to buy it yeah, by the ton, which yeah, and we know and we know we can get a, a, a fair. We 
better price on paving. Yep. The, right? Is so you're not prepared to substrate the But the preparing of the the, the, the grid bed. Yeah, the new fire road. Yep, they, they could do that. They could repair all they said they were gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need to put those gravels in, open up that fire road soon anyways, yeah. and then we may pay later in the year. So we can take care of the gravel. If the town takes care of paving, that's great. It actually reduces our budget, so if there's something that we can do to help the town budget, we've got well, eighteen thousand. Yeah, they carried carry the number of eighteen thousand for paving. For paving. You, should, you should do the subgrade on the whole parking lot then. Well, I mean, we'll see if we can fit that in. But, um, I'll ask for a price. Yeah. I'm looking at this price, I don't think it would happen. Okay. <laughs> he knows dirt better than I do. Well, I mean, it's just if they need 48000 for site work and then another eighteen for paving, well, any of the it stuff would cost quite a bit for Any of the material that are digging up be usable? Not really. I, I mean, it's clay based. We actually, right? as the town, when they put that addition on, we bump the fire road over a little, excavated it down like a foot or something. Put some gravel in it and repaved it. Okay. Um, the fire road is really pretty much junk all from the down to the parking lot. Yeah, from yeah. the lower parking lot all the way up yeah. past the school onto that parking lot. Okay, and that's what's that's your well, no, well, no, we, we picked it up right here at this walkway, right? And and that's where we started to bend it around the addition. So we that's what we own in the, okay. in the project right now. So this, we, this is the party stock, yeah. Right? We didn't go all so we gotta we really should. I don't know, it doesn't need a lot of work, but we gotta address that too, and it should all be done at the same time. And you did the yeah. lower parking lot already. That, it, that was never done. We I haven't done it since we've been over here. The gymnasium parking lot? No, nope, that was built in 1989. That's all that's been done to it. It wasn't repaved? Nope. So not pretty good. We crack sealed it. I put a drainage line across it. The access road in there, we redid that and widened it out because it was quite narrow. Yeah, it was. The two cars couldn't pass. Maybe that's what I was saying. That's you did that a few years back? Oh, yeah, quite a few now, but you're right. Sure. We did do, we addressed that. Okay. The upper parking lot, I think, where Jan Van de Bogart was road agent, they did some work up there. I don't know exactly. Yeah, that, that, that I think it got there. added on to, because again, it was all a pretty small area years ago. There was very small footprint. So they increased parking into that. Since I've been on board, we did access road we did, and over by the police station, we did some work there. And, and we stopped right at the end of the police at the building. headquarters because we knew that pavement down there. And that's, that's the same scenario when the fire station, not the fire station, police station was added on. You know, a little more got paved when the school did their project, a little more got boxed out paved. So it's like all kinds of different materials there. So that's why I'm a little like, I don't know what we're going to do. You know, I just don't want you to, if you take on too much, you're going to overextend, you'll, you'll kill your budget. You won't yes, exactly. It. So that's why I'd like them to do as much as they committed to do. Yep. And they come in. Yeah, so what happens with the $18,000? How does that, yeah, how, how, we, how do we do that? Town? How can we help the town with that $18,000? What can we do? Um, does the rest of the fire road need more gravel in there? Does it need to be dug up and removed? Yes, it needs to be, the asphalt there needs to be removed All and right. probably some more gravel added. I don't know the linear footage. Well, let me look at that. Let yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe that. then maybe we could do a, they could, I'm just speaking out loud sure, now, bet. they could take off from that wall parking lot and stop at the, the upper round of the upper parking lot. It, for that mm -hmm. equal money or, yeah. so what do you we'll, think? We'll do all the gravels, Excuse preparation for gravels, town comes in and paves. Yeah, Plus the town does the gravels on the west parking yeah, lot and right. paves. Yeah, let's, let's take that. Too. Because two Except reasons. for uh, you're going to do the three spaces, the ground, the three <coughs> sure. new spaces, right? You bet. Yep. Well, so the three new spaces and the, the road. Yeah, we can. It may be easier to do it with the towns say, in there working, but. For our discussion, I know it's on camera and everything else, negotiation purposes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a trade off, you can say, all right, we'll take care of the additional parking spaces on the existing parking lot. It's going to tear the parking lot up anyway. Yeah, you'll be in there with you. Yeah, I mean, well, you know what I mean? That's not that big a deal. If they, if we can get them to take care of the road mm -hmm. from the generator basically down yeah, to, to the, the other field. Yeah. Yeah. And that gets kind of wide down there. For negotiation, the you're yeah. kind of going the other way. <laughs> but, but even though we're. Well, you don't know what that might cost. <laughs> even though we're two different entities. 
it's, it's coming the same out of the block. same pocket for I everybody just, else. It, it, it makes sense to collaborate yeah, and find the exactly. cheapest way to get what Given the year we're need. having, I would just assume not lose that $18,000. Yeah, okay. If we could get it back right. in kind work, right. it's going to benefit the whole project, I'd be yeah. happy. Okay. Or a check for $18,000. You know? <laughs> that, that but that's, that's, that's hard to do, Dan. Then we're charging the school and the school's paying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then gets I would just recommend a memorandum of understanding of who's responsible for what. Once we figure it out, we'll put it down in writing. That's right. So it'll be a change order on our side right. for our contract. And just so we clear, I mean, it's or I'm talking verbally, it's on tape, but still a memorandum of understanding paper wise sure. would be a good great. Yeah, we would talk we've talked about it a little bit already and we could come talk to you about it. Okay. So it would make sense to pave that road from the edge of the parking, the lower parking lot, all the way oh, around. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of having it like the parking lot broken up into chunks. Well, that's what the problem is. Yeah. Yeah. You're exactly I, right. I don't think we're in I would recommend they go, you go forward, negotiate some more, come up with an agreement, and we can uh, codify it. Do we need crappy fill anywhere? You know, the stuff we're going to dig out of there? Do we, do we want to, you know, backfill off the lower parking lot to get ready for more? Well, it would be great to or? do that, but there's a whole, you, trees would have to be yeah. cut, stumps okay. would have to be removed, topsoil would have to be removed. I looked at that already. Great material. I looked at that already. I went down there before we had this couple, last couple of snowstorms, yeah. thinking about my parking lot and what's going on. Yeah. And it's just, it would be a good idea, <clears throat> but it would require really another whole effort of work. Do we have some place close they could haul that, Jeff? Not really. It's all right. We, we have it in our budget to have it. I mean, there's place. random people around town that are always we looking do. for Phil, but, you know. I have one public question, if right. I don't mind, so I'm going to open it up to that one public question. Remember, Jermaine, with us. Yeah, I'm just wondering. Yes, um, you know, the, the cemetery trustees have been talking to you about working back there. Is there some place that you, yeah, is there some place you could, they could use back Yeah, there? I, I, I don't know, but, you know, then again, it's a, uh, well, I think, I think time is of the essence because 26 well, yeah, is... Well, I was going to say access to get it in there with large trucks and heavy yeah, trucks. Yeah, no, I, I understand yeah, that. Yeah. Maybe off the side or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, yeah but I, yeah, I don't know. Because like I two weeks ago, it was dry. But right now, it's not that way. Well, they I, haul that material now. They need yeah. a dry spot to, yeah, yeah. Yeah. to haul it over there. They wouldn't be able to do it probably yeah, until August. Yeah. What our plan is, <clears> and that's part of the reason I just assume have them wait to do those parking spaces, we can excavate that area out. We'll reclaim all the asphalt that's on there in place and remove that with whatever gravel we have and we'll stockpile at the end in that new parking area but that'll be cut if you fall following it's going to be cut to the subgrade we need and then bring some of it back and add more gravel to achieve the grades we need okay so you're so we're going to try to reuse on site as much as we can because it just costs us money to haul the asphalt away but there probably will be some sub material us to be hauled away they have to haul Pretty much all the stuff so, they pull yeah, out. So Jeff, being whereas you've got to keep a couple of weeks to keep that site, that, that material on site, yep. maybe we'll give it some thought around town. If we think of some good ideas, we'll we'll approach you guys. Okay. Well, the, right. the other thing is it's, it's, you know, just keep in mind, everybody always says they want some fill, but you know, we try to accommodate them when we're in the neighborhood. But, you know, they're not, these guys aren't going to want to back in around no. people's yards no, and below to Joe's you, house you and over at my you, house and you, one over at Ellen's house. You're already trying to Travel as is exactly. Well, no, he means exactly. after the road. Oh, even after the road, yeah. Because yeah. they're going to stop pilot for now. Yeah. Yeah. So we have yeah. maybe a few weeks to think about. Yeah. yeah. If the town could use it anywhere. Yeah. yeah. But uh, top of my head, no. And we, a lot of that stuff we haul to our pit. Uh, we had a great place to get rid of it up here, but that gal doesn't seem to really want the lot. Mm -hmm. Noel's house doesn't seem to want to have talked to her a couple times, and she's doesn't know what she mm -hmm. wants to do with her property. So she's gonna, it's um, you know, it, it's clean fill. It's okay. nice, you know, but it's just it's very clay, clay, you know, not really well drained material. So. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't think we need a motion on this until you come back with a memorandum of agreement. Yeah. Well, I, I, Jeff is right now. I think you have a consensus that we're generally yeah. in favor of it. Yeah. Of saving time. Do you need experts too? No. Nope. Yeah. We'll we'll come up with something. I'll you know, give me the word. We'll meet out there with him. Because it's going to be tied into your change order too, so yeah. it's, it's yeah. all tied together. Yeah. It, that's the only way I can see making sense out of it. I yeah. agree. I agree. I don't think you have any disagreement from the It's going to be easier for a, the, their excavation company and contractor because it's definite lines. You know, right yeah. now they're, they're kind of doing the middle. Okay. You'd be likely a little bit more than the school board. <laughs> <laughs>
Dave. Do what we can. That was just a joke for the video. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dave. I'm just adding them on and you yeah. get back. Yeah. Give that $1,000 back over 11 years. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. I, I have just a question. Yes. The bond application yes. and inspections by the town. Yep. Uh, Mike came to our meeting today. I asked him to go. Yep. Yeah. And uh, we had that conversation about what he's looking for for inspections and what we're doing for inspections. I think okay. he's all set there. Okay, but my question for you is do you need us to be involved with those inspections or do you have someone, part of your construction crew that are qualified and will be? So our design team will be doing, um, we don't call them inspections, we call them construction observations, but okay. they'll be out there periodically. Okay. And we left it up to Mike if he wants to come out at certain intervals to look at certain things, he's okay. welcome to come out, just notify them. Yeah. So we sort of left it. All right, because we don't have a lot of hours budgeted for yeah. him, and I don't want him to be consumed with doing all those inspections. But if there is needed, then the board needs to know that we're going to go on over most big, on his big projects, construction projects uh, that the planning board entertains. Usually, the, they'll have the company will provide their own um, in, inspecting through their own engineer, right? And all they're required to do is provide a courtesy copy of what they of their findings. The, yeah, and we report, about that. We report, report, all inspection. of our inspection right. reports with my so. right. So I'm going to be doing all the structural inspections. I'll be out there looking. Reports, reports are really what are our mandatory. Invite Mike out, as I said, would be um, if you have your own site engineer inspecting. We don't require. Um, yeah, right. and, and then it, it, we like to try to keep our lot files complete, and then that becomes a, a record that we can turn back, you know, return to for any questions if you things. Bet. We have problems. So, so that, that standard procedure for us is to copy the building department with yeah. any reports that the okay. design team. And they've already been in today to meet with him. Of oh, permits. And with so the forth. plans and whatnot. Yeah. So, okay. Good. And then the other thing was, do you want me just to wait on this? Because this is really assessing information for the bond. Um, I received that email. Uh, so if there's questions about it, work through Dwayne. Ford. Um, yeah, but you had replied, don't do anything with it. But what all I want oh, to do is get the data and give it back to you. You can handle yeah, it. Yeah, so my, my um, there's some timing going on here. We won't find out until March 19th, next Monday, what we're getting for our uh, state funding for the grant. And depending upon what we get, we may adjust the amount on our application for the bond. So that's why I told Dwayne, make sure you don't submit the bond application until mm -hmm. after we... Okay. You know. So that was the so timing the, issue. Okay, so this my part's okay to complete. I think it is, yeah. It's just getting the information to Dwayne, and then you guys will have it in your court. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. I don't, I'm busy, so oh, if I, I can get something yeah. off my desk, then I'll do it and get it done. Okay. So. Okay. Thank you. That's fine. Jeff, you got a Just call. curiosity, does the school get relief on the building permit fee? Yes. Yes. Zero, zero, yes. No zero. Oh, good. I was hoping. No I wasn't sure. Yeah. I, I thought no, it was silly. Just, just, well, I didn't could be know. Expensive. Just for the record, um, uh, any we found that, that there were construction mm -hmm. projects going on in the town without any safety inspections. That's what that really is. A safety yeah. inspection. No, but I didn't know. And so we, we asked all departments if they're doing anything construction, like electrical or anything like that. Would they have a zero cost permit? To basically to do yeah. the work oh, and we can so inspect it. I assume there was, but yes. no, no, it's um, especially if Mike doesn't have to be too involved. It's not that big. No, in fact, it shouldn't have to be involved is with their own site engineer, similar to some of the other projects in town, yeah. uh, commercial types of projects. Sounds good, Jeff. The only thing before you leave, I'm going to be taking over the looking at the town hall okay. roof system up there. Yep, and when you get a little break, I know you. Time to take a breather a few days, maybe a week or so. Call me anytime. Okay, I'll yeah. give you a call. I just want to review some ideas I have up there and you bet. get your thoughts on it. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. Thank you guys okay. for coming in. Okay. Thank you. you. Uh, thanks, Jeff, for coming in. No problem. And Jeff, thanks for the information yeah, earlier on another no issue. Thank yeah, you. Oh, that's good. Thanks. That was great, thanks, great information you, you provided. See you guys. See you later. He's scared. He wears a bulk. Okay. It's like the media. Okay, Tom Business, I want to continue to go through the map walks. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to give. As your chief, is yours non public or going to be public? Non public. Thank you, sir. Okay. Um, just an FYI, uh, we had sent for several invoices come in that were after the. Uh, Cutoffs we made. This one came in from last year. It came in this month for Feb and the thing is the cutoff was in February. It's going to be charged to the department this year because we're our books are closed. Yes, correct. It's not we a, had requested that too, so it's not a large amount. But when he submitted amount. the invoice, we noticed it was from prior year. Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah. 
So that's it. And um, I have another item here. This is um, Margaret Watkins. We have um, some individuals that she'd like to nominate um, for the uh, continue the nominations for the Town Hall Restoration Committee. Bob, well, are you aware? Your name was on there as far as the. Yeah. What's the story with that? She's pushing it early, but we can approve them tonight if we. Because they only get appointed for the year that they want, so they all have to come up for reappointment. This okay. Year. Uh, I, I can mad was just here. Okay, I can. I will entertain a motion to to accept all these, and we can and make a motion and pass on to Linda for yeah, papers. So yeah, that way they would, she can get this stuff ready for us next time. But I would second the motion so that they. Uh, Do you want to mention those names? Yes, for the record, you want to read them off, Yep. Yeah. The names for the record: Beth Boucher, Sue Bracy. I think it's ended. Larson, Clem Eden. Madden. Eden. 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 Kurt McDermott, Margaret Watkins, Peter Weeks, Shelley Westenberg, and also welcome Bob Martell's continued participation. I guess that means I'm still there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, sure that's coming through the uh, chairman. Uh, that's coming directly from the chairman. It should be. So I have the second to his motion. All in favor of accepting those individuals for the Town Restoration Committee? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, they're still going to come to us with the <coughs> signatures yeah. anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But we can get that paperwork started. All right. I have another thing from uh, David Allen. Uh, this is the training. He's going to have um, uh, ethics training. And they're going to do it on the second Tuesday of April 10th. He's asking for that it be distributed to the per various department heads. I think Lean's already on top of that. Yeah. Okay. April 10th? Yes. I'm going to make a note on mine and I'll sign it. Later. Are you going to make it this year? I'll try to. Okay. I want you to become ethical, my friend. I've already done it. Oh, okay. Ethical. It was, it was uh, <laughs> six years ago or so. Oh. And I'm, I'm, only, I'm only kidding for the record. I have changed my thought process. Oh, that's nice. Working with you. Ah. <laughs> Hopefully it's more ethical. <laughs> that's uh, 7.30, by the way, because I confirmed it. It's 7.30 p.m.? Yeah. So, again, for the record, it's uh, Tuesday, April 10th, 7.30 p.m. I'll be sending out my most of the okay. departments. And I, after participating last year, they put on a reasonably good, uh, I think it's a, a, a it's an interactive uh, um, presentation, so we could ask questions and participate. Okay, I have um, Chiefs and Bucks. Results, I'm going to call Linda down in a moment. Um, Dave, this was uh, in the bin box. Did you want to talk to that? Lean prepared another. This is about uh, Chief's officer position, and uh, I think they had some numbers that <coughs> you had asked if, if I had anything in a spreadsheet. And he's pretty, I think the numbers are getting closer based on yours and my conversation, Dave. Yep. I just did a, a spreadsheet that's the support stuff. To get yep, those we were looking at is just the support documentation for the. <coughs> total amount it would cost for the full-time police officer for the town. For what? For a full year? For a full year. Okay, that being, I think we're good there. Yeah. Okay, um, Chief, could I ask you a favor? Sure. Could you get Linda for me? Of course. Please? Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, that that's the way she's going to talk about. That's that, and those are together. That's Chiefs. This one here is Chiefs? Yeah. Okay. And they that's all we while we're waiting. Sure. And then we'll come back to... Uh... Okay, there was also a, a, a thing is a appointment of chairman to the board. Oh, this is for the site. Do you want to do that now or do you want to do that next week? Okay, and the other thing, the, it now if you want. okay, the, the, the secondary thing is going to be we're going to talk about next week. Linda will come to us prepared with the different committees, mm -hmm. uh, the segments rep to the various committees. And Linda's got a good sheet; she's working on that. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Okay. I would make a motion we reappoint Mike as chair again. I mean, it's working pretty good. He can do the rambling. We can do the listening and ask the important questions. Bob, <laughs> did you? Uh, if, if you don't run again, this would be your last year. Did you want to be at like an honorary chair? No, I, 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 think, the... I think I think no. I think it's fine. Because as chair, you could assign him as co-chair to still uh, sit here in the middle no. and do his thing. You know. Uh, yeah, no, that's uh, I don't have a problem with the. Uh, with okay. Mike. 
I just wanted to make sure you didn't want to be honorary chair. Because I think I think the tradition is that the most senior member is the chair. Right. So that's what yes, you. And I understand that. And but uh, I think this is working well the way it's working. And there's no sense changing it. So. I was just going to state to you, you know, you still can be chair and you could still elect somebody to, you know, run the center of the meeting. Too. No, no, I'd be satisfied with having him as chair. Okay, well, I'll second that then. I guess I'm outvoted. So you're going to say all, all, all in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> as I said, I'm upvoted. I abstained. All right, continuing on, I think, uh, all right. Linda, you're going to give us an election update. We do have the copies of the, of the election results. Oh, good. I brought a copy just in case. Okay. In case you have questions. And uh, I'll leave, give you the floor. Yes. Um, I have notified all of the win well, almost all of the winners uh, that they do need to come in and be sworn in within six days of notification. There is a statute that dictates that. Um, you and I need to do some swearing in today. We did some swearing in, so we need Grace, to sign sorry. these forms. I've already sworn in uh, three other people. So, okay, excellent. So we're well on a roll with all of that. Uh, there was a question on one of the, uh, I held off on uh, one of the write-in the winners. Uh, it was a, an empty slot, and there was a winner who was uh, a write-in. And I, I held off, uh, there was a question prior, prior year regarding this. And it, it appears that he's not eligible I contacted uh, Secretary of State's office. They referred me to the Attorney General's office. Um, I have a copy of an email here. I provided it to him. You did, yes. okay. And the uh, AG's office uh, indicated that it should be uh, sent to the town attorney to pursue. So that's where we are with that one. And give you a follow-up. The town attorney has been notified. Okay. She'll work on it first thing in the morning and she'll give us an opinion by tomorrow. Perfect. And then we'll know where to go from there. Okay, that's referencing that. And uh, I just want to say thank you, Linda, for allowing um, uh, me to give you some help there. Because I know it was, we had a, uh, an interesting time last year and we just want to do what's right. Exactly. And uh, so I appreciate you allowing me to give you some input. Yes. And uh, what I shared with the gentleman, I shared her with. Uh, the legal opinion uh, basically provided last year uh, by our attorney mm -hmm. as a basis and I think the purpose of contacting our attorney is not to uh, repeat history but just to reaffirm what she gave us last year and that's all. And to okay. see if there have been any changes you know, sure. to, to get an update. Okay. Anything else Linda? Uh, that is all I okay. have election related. Just for the record Linda is going to go non-public this evening to provide us a, a recommendation for hiring action tonight. Okay. And I think it's at this point, we, we can go non-public immediately. I kind of like back this together, so I think it should be the last one on the agenda. I do want to open up for public comment before I close the board, and then before we go non-public. Okay. Good. All right. Uh, so, public comment. Leo, you're the only one. Well, just congratulations to you, Thank Mike. You. Thank you. I will continue to try to do the job. Yeah, I believe you will. Chief, anything? Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, Linda, if you just stand by, I'd like to make a motion. Did you ask David the annual comments about that? Well, he was just doing public oh, comments. Yeah, but it's okay, so I I'm going to bring it back to the board now. Okay, correct. Okay, as I said, I'm going to bring it back to the board. <clears throat> and Thanks for luck, not let him forget that, Bob. No, but he said I was going to make a motion. That's oh, all. Okay. Okay. Well, I was going to hold up a motion, but right back to the <laughs> David, so you're on the, on the, uh, um, I know we had talked a few weeks back, and I think um, Lee might have to answer this. Have we heard anything back on installing that library door from that contract? Um, I was sending him um, regular emails, and I will. Uh, you put it on Mary the action, and I, action right, um, form. I did ask him to communicate directly with Mary, but she usually keeps an open uh, conversation. With I didn't me see it replaced when, when driving by it quick, but maybe. No, I don't believe it has because she would have told <clears> me. So I'll okay. follow up with that. Yeah, I think if we follow up, I'd like to get it done before they get busy in the night. Well, he was going to come in the Friday that it rained, that we had that heavy rain, mm -hmm. and, and he didn't. And then the following week, we had the no, snowstorm. I don't know if that's... And they had that stop snowing since. She's coming out. I'd just like to follow up just to make sure he knows. Maybe if he comes, the sun will shine. 
But you if, if you call, just I want to say for the record, last uh, last week uh, people were uh, inquiring about the weather, and I kind of alerted the uh, town moderator to be prepared for a snowstorm. And I was like laughed at in the middle of the meeting, saying there was going to be no snow and it's just going to be dusting. The thing is, I, I would recommend when I suggest well, snow, people as, listen to me. Chair, you've got to swallow your pride. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be a little humble. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, I just want bragging rights that I was correct. <laughs> He's got no, no humility. <laughs> okay. So, so that's all I have for okay. this week. Bob, do you have anything for the group? Actually, no. <laughs> okay. Lean, any quick things before we go into the non public? No, I have nothing. Okay. Okay, I can make a motion that we go non-public for RSA 91-alpha colon 3, Roman number 2, paragraph B. I'll second that one. And any discussion? No. Okay. Kaminsky, yes? No, yes. Martell, yes. We'll take a one-minute recess. Wait.